Sup, your boys, boy Corey, aka GQ Saint, back with reaction video. This is an early analysis, death battle. I had a little trouble starting this because someone's going on with my earbuds. But anyway, Fist it is tall ass. Megatron is a good guy. Are you, are you serious? Anyway, I don't want to get this that the name of this tile already got me from death battle. But anyway, let's just get into it. You already know Megatron, which is pretty much the Arch Enemy Optimus Prime. Leader to set the cons, but anyway, let's go and get into it. See how you stack up against Frieza, what they're going to show in this. And with you are no special question, but comment below. Let me know what you had to. And you think I should do the full video? Let me let me know because you guys just get to straight to reactions on to the fight. But anyway, you think I should do it? Just let me know. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Or you live even longer and become an 80s toy commercial. This is Megatron. In Cybertron's ancient past, the planet was ruled by the Functionist Religious Order, which decreed a Transformer's natural-born alternate mode determined their role and status in society rather than letting them choose for themselves. Born yeah, into this know. repressive caste system, Megatron of Tarn dreamed of something more. So this giant Hasbro toy robot, only $5.99 at your nearest Raid Aid, wrote a manifesto on peaceful dissent that got popular with the oppressed Cybertronian working class. So much so, in fact, that the Senate tried to have him assassinated. Whoa, politics alert! After surviving that brush with death, Megatron was convinced that peace could never be an option. The only hmm. path left to overthrow the crippling social order was violent revolution. So were the Autobots originally the bad guys story. here? Optimus Prime? More like Optimus Crime. Never say that Megatron wasn't committed. The civil war he started between the two groups lasted nine million fucking years. And again, yeah. remember, <laughs> yeah. toy robots. He was aided in his war efforts by his immensely powerful fusion cannon, a giant laser bazooka that can hit targets from 12 miles away and level a small town in a single shot. These projectiles are so fast, they're able to exit the atmosphere from ground level after only a single second. By scaling mm. the distance of the Earth using the angle of this shot, the fusion cannon's projectile must be moving over 4,200 times the speed of sound. But like me, the fusion cannon needs a little time to recharge between shots, so Megatron's got some tools to keep the job going. He can close yeah, the distance with show. his Energon mace and good. block blows with his Energon shield. It helps that Megs literally fought as a gladiator before his stunt as a revolutionary. Megatron can fire lasers from his eyes and arms, launch buzz saws strong enough to slice through solid rock, fly through the air, and open up a force field known as a panic bubble. Now, it might seem like a huge flaw that it lets enemy combatants inside, but that's only until you realize it won't let them back out again. That's when the panic part comes in. Megatron's not trapped in there with you. You're trapped in there with him. Megatron's Cybertronian body is strong enough to match the Autobot leader Optimus Prime, who can toss around oil tankers weighing hundreds of thousands of tons. And Megatron's metallic hide was tough enough to survive an explosion so massive it launched the entire yeah. planet of He's Cybertron a watching through this space. Show up, By taking a look kid. at Cybertron's mass and how fast it was sent flying you to know, get its overall kinetic energy, Megatron must have survived a blast equal to nearly 4.5 Nina they covered this in the fight between Optimus and uh, First Gen Dawn. I watched that fight. He can even keep up with Decepticons like Starscream, who can fly across the galaxy from Earth to Cybertron at hundreds of thousands of times the speed of light. Whiz, it feels like everyone and their mother has traveled across the universe at a shitzillion times the speed of light. When do we get our badass galaxy road trip? Uh, well, I think I'm free this coming weekend, though we should probably steer clear of Andromeda. I had some unfortunate dealings with the Zimblorkians. Why? I Okay, this is a very interesting video, so definitely look him forward to the fight between him and Frieza. I'm curious who you guys got. Okay, pretty cool video. So yeah, there's something to think about. I didn't know that part about cause I know he just they covered some or more of that in the Transformer Prime series, which I like. That was a good series as well, too. You know, between you know different classes and different Cybertronians, but anyway, let me know how you feel about this video. Who you who you guys got in this fight? It should be a very interesting fight to me. Anyway, let me know how you feel once again. Make sure you give a boy like, comment, and subscribe. Have a fantastic day, y'all. Peace.